The three bright blue stars that make up Orion's belt look pretty small up in the night sky, but actually blue stars are some of the most massive and brightest stars in the whole universe. Stars burn hydrogen for fuel, and blue stars have a lot of hydrogen. Our sun has enough hydrogen to keep burning for around 10 billion years. Blue stars have much more than that, but they won't last as long because they burn through it so much faster. Many blue stars shine 200 times brighter than our sun because they burn their fuel so quickly. Blue stars are like SUVs. They have a big gas tank, but very poor mileage, and they illuminate all parts of the night sky. How do so many short-lived stars exist in a universe that is supposedly 13.8 billion years old? Secular scientists think that stars constantly form as a result of gas clouds being compressed together, even though none of them have ever seen this. Plus, gas particles and clouds bounce against one another. This outward force far exceeds the inward pulling force of gravity. Blue stars churn through their own fuel so fast that they cannot last billions of years. And based on their observed luminosity, the most massive blue stars cannot last even 1 million years before running out of fuel. If the universe is 13.8 billion years old, as secularists claim, blue stars should not be here anymore. But they are, and we find them all throughout the universe. As God said through his prophet Isaiah, my hands stretched out the heavens, and all their host I have commanded. Blue stars fit perfectly with the Bible's idea of recent creation. So next time you see a blue star, think of our creator, whose hands created the whole universe.